Some brands offer you low finance, or cashback, or servicing. Renault don't do ors. We do ands. The Renault Kajar, with 1.91% APR and €1,000 cashback and three years servicing, saving you thousands. Renault, the brand with the ands. Visit your local Renault dealer. Finance is made under a higher purchase agreement. Terms and conditions apply. Deposit required. Subject to lending criteria. See Renault.ie. Blog Talk Radio. J. Morris, returning to live T.J. Morris ET Radio, thanks to American Communications Online, and I need a sound check, so we're going to have to do that with Bill M. Tracer returning tonight. Bill M. Tracer, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? (laughs) Yeah, I do. I have a lot of sound behind me. I've got a fan on right here next to me. Can you hear it? Um, Does it sound fine? Actually, you sound quite fine. I don't. I don't really hear the fan. Okay, great. Uh, that way, I can leave it on because my daughter has leukemia and it's very cold and it's very hot in here. Welcome everybody from Gulf Breeze, Florida, in the United States of America. I have Bill M. Tracer, famous author of "Will the Internet Achieve Sentience." I think he's one of the first to come up with that. Uh, He could tell us about it. And he's also a rogue philosopher returning with us for a weekly show on Saturday. We began back in June 2012, and I think he came on in 2013, but he was listening to a Saturday night show. And he became such a regular, I had to ask him to come on board. So he has since written at least two books. I'm very excited to have him introduce himself about uh, the open walk, blending science with our spiritual quest. And I, uh, Tom, uh, Bill, let me just real quickly thank Tommy Morris for Tommy Morris. Oh, gosh, 
He's passed over. Yeah, Tom, hi. Uh, it's, it's your wife from the planet. I met uh, Tommy Hawksblood for keeping uh, this show going for the last five or six months in 2018. So all you listeners out there that are used to hearing uh, about Tommy Hawksblood, Tommy is going to have his own shows again, I believe, on another channel, or he may be coming back here from time to time. But uh, back to you, Bill M. Tracer. Uh, is going to do Saturdays again, 8 Eastern, 7 Central. So, Bill and Tracer, why don't you introduce yourself, and then let's talk about what you have planned for us as a co-host for the Open Walk tonight. So, I'm going to let you have the floor. Go ahead. All right. The Open Walk is uh, my most recent book. <clears throat> I have two nonfiction books that I've written. Like you mentioned the uh, Will the Internet Achieve Sentience, and then also now the Open Walk, blending science with our spiritual quest. I also have a couple of uh, fiction as well. Um, then one of those I think is called, uh, uh, what are they? Uh, yes, Tomorrow's to Stay, Tomorrow's to Die. That's a fictional story about uh, our future quest to get to Mars. And then um, the... Um, Oh, what is that other one called? That's a, a time travel story. The other one is... Um, um, the, what is it to do with the... Uh, I remember back in the 60s, Woodstock, yeah. It was tri- Tripping on Woodstock. That's that's the title of it. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, I just remembered. Yeah, that's a main, main character comes from our present day, basically. And you could say he's kind of kidnapped by a rogue time traveler who takes him back to Woodstock. And then he has the full Woodstock experience, and, um, and which includes all the stuff that happened there, you know. All three of the, the big three things of Woodstock, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So uh, he, he got involved in all that, ultimately. Plus, he also had the uh, the privilege of, of kind of uh, becoming introduced to like a subculture of time travelers, you know. I kind of played with this idea that... Uh, Time travelers have like certain certain things, certain events in history that they're very attracted to, and uh, we call those touchstone events. Woodstock is one of those. So uh, there were a lot of a lot of time travelers there at Woodstock, and he got to meet a bunch of them. And uh, it, it, it's a fun story. It's, it's, it's a romp, you know. And like the title, you know, tripping on Woodstock. It's 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 a light-hearted kind of look at it, you know. And uh, but anyway, that's that one. That's the fiction. And but what? And like I say, my most recent is this nonfiction book, the the Open Walk, and it's a look at spirituality, and uh, and like I say in the subtitle, blending science with our spiritual quests. I take the idea or the premise that uh, science and religion or spirituality really don't need to be at odds with each other. A lot of people seem to think that they are, but, you know, they don't have to be. And uh, and when when you do blend them and kind of find that common ground, then uh, then you find that they really enhance each other and not uh, and not the other way around, not uh, not at conflict. So that's where I'm going with that in, in that particular book. And it's a uh, I put a lot of re- years of research involved here. Uh, initially, I, I, I was just doing a comparative religion study, and as uh, I did more and more of that, I started finding those things that, that that are in common between various religions of the world and various spiritual approaches. And uh, and the more I looked at that, the more uh, the more I found, you know, there's there's some important ideas here that just need to be kind of examined and analyzed and and so I took that like I say from a scientific approach that kind of analytical approach and um and started right in then you know <laughs> I met you and started uh coming on your show a lot and the, we we had a lot of discussions about these these different things relating to uh, comparative religion and comparative philosophies and spiritual thoughts and metaphysics and all that and the more we discussed the the more ideas came to me and i came to realize you know well there's a lot here that just needs to go into a book and so the open walk kind of emerged out of a combination of my own comparative religion studies and 
our discussions on air and and then even ultimately uh, other folks that I have interacted with over the years. So uh, it just all sort of sort of gelling, and uh, and the open walk came out of that. Great. Am I, am I bothering you in the chat room? <laughs> can you see it? You're Jesus, busy. Can you see that? <laughs> All right, folks. We do uh, want to invite you back to Blog Talk Radio, Teaching Mars CT Radio, Bill M. Tracer, and myself, Teresa J. Mars. Uh, we are glad to be back. And uh, we do have the chat room open. And, uh, you know, it's Saturday night here on the planet, at least where I am. It's later. I was talking to some guys in the U.K. Thank you all in the U.K. listening to us. We have a lot of fans, even though it's late there. Uh, Bill, we are the midnight show <laughs> in the U.K. So uh, we have listeners over there. We have some Facebook friends. And uh, I guess now Bill is sort of in the blind. So if you want to, you'll have to get in the chat room. And I don't even know how to do that anymore. But uh, Bill, do you know how you got into the chat room? Because you got in from the outside looking in tonight. So tell us, uh, how do you get into the chat room? I can't. Oh. I, I, I'm doing it on the back side or on the inside developer side. So how did you get into a chat room? Well, once you go to the the actual page where your show is, you know, being broadcast from, um, it, it offers it up. Uh, now I had to had to click a little button that said, you know, to activate the. I think Adobe Flash or something like that. But once I clicked that little button, then it just started it right up. And there's the live really? chat. Right yeah. On the same page that you're on when you when you see it on the uh blog talk link. Uh-huh. That's right. It's on that very same it page. Is, you can scroll right, down a little way right. and then there it is, you know. It's just it's right there on that page. So, Wonderful. Yeah, right, we, you and I, you're not the only ahead. ones in the chat room at the moment. But uh yeah. but I hope by the time <laughs> we get really going here we'll get some more people in there. That'll be good. Well, at least we have it. For for a long time, we we didn't we don't have people we can go to in the developing radio business uh, on the weekend. There, you have to let them know. It used to be that way, but technology has come a long way, and pretty much you have to pretty much know what you're doing these days. And and to get the chat room, have your uh, airways clean and everything, all your browsers clean and all that, and then you get into the. To the uh, Operating system, and I'm I'm here, folks. But our guest call in tonight is three four seven nine four five seven two zero seven. That hasn't changed uh, since I began this in June of 2012. So um, some of you may be our old timers that have that number in your phone. So uh, please, we welcome everyone back that can hear us. And uh, for all those that listen to us in the archive, I will be coming back and doing readings for all you in the spiritual world that uh, like our counseling and reading. And if you would, uh, we have uh, the T.J. Mars Radio uh, and T.J. Mars ET Radio websites out there. So I'll hopefully start posting all that. Bill M. Tracer. Now, Bill, this, at the beginning here, uh, give them your, where they can find you uh, and uh, you can – we can use Facebook and Zazzle and Amazon, and uh, I'll make sure I get a page up on my websites with your links on it. But for right now, go ahead and share how they might find you on Facebook. Okay. On Facebook, you know, you, you, if you go to a, the Facebook, just like the main page, and you do a search, you just search on my name, Bill M. Tracer. Put a little period after that M. That's my middle initial, Bill M. Tracer. And that'll find me. Also, uh, if you, the regular Facebook.com website slash Bill M. Tracer. In that case, it's all together, and there is no period after the M. You know, if, you, if you're actually going to the actual link, the HTTPS colon slash slash www.facebook.com slash Bill M. Tracer all run together there in that case. I, I'm going to put that link also right now in the chat room, the, the Facebook link. So when people, it, it, when and if people get into the chat room, they'll see my Facebook link. Also, I, um, well, that's a really long link. At Amazon, if you go to Amazon and, again, 
they have an author search, or you can do an author search. If you, you just search on my name, Bill M. Tracer, 